I'm being joined by returning officer and the Deputy Commissioner of West Garu Hills, Mr. Ram Singh. Uh, sir, thank you for taking out the time to speak to us. Uh, sir, firstly, I would like to ask, how did the election process go on for the Garu Hills Autonomous District Council? Uh, election process is, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, we had prepared really hard for it. And then uh, for the last two, three days, we had, because of, uh, you know, some uh, law and order issues, uh, uh, we had to call meetings of a uh, lot of uh, uh, you know people, senior citizens, church leader, etc. And we appeal to everyone to keep calm and come out in large numbers to vote. And uh, all the issues can be resolved later on by the new council. And uh, I think today you can see that the, uh, the polls were really peaceful. And uh, you know since morning there has been a lot of queues outside polling stations. During that time, it was a bit slow, and but now, you know, uh, 4 p.m., just before 4 p.m., a lot of people have come, and then, uh, especially in plain areas, they normally come during the afternoon. And uh, uh, till 4 p.m., like, roughly poll percentage, like, you know, we don't get it from all the polling stations, or few of the polling stations are shadow areas. Till 4 p.m., the polling percentage was around uh, 60 percent. And uh, they have started winding up, uh, I think, uh, by s now 6 o'clock. So, uh, like, most of the polling parties, uh, they have started leaving, especially on the hill areas, tribal areas. Uh, but in the plain areas, a lot of people are still there. So, it will take around uh, 9 o'clock or so, maybe more also, because uh, this is a trend uh, in the plain areas. A lot of people, they come towards the evening only. And uh, uh, polls have been really peaceful and uh, we didn't face uh, any issues other than few of the because these are in old M2 EVMs and uh, you know few of the areas we had uh, despite uh, you know our lot of precautions we had few of the CUs giving errors which were replaced duly and we because we had a lot of uh, uh, spares also and uh, and now polling parties will start coming after half an hour or so so once they start coming especially from the nearby areas uh, and then uh, you know we will uh, get to know and this time uh, we had called especially normally in the council election normally we don't have uh, observers but uh, this time because of anticipated uh, some issues uh, learn out issues and all these things uh, we had uh, you know asked for observers special observers so they are here and then uh, you know they will check and uh, hopefully the uh, rest of the day will go peaceful. Uh, our polling parties, they had gone last uh, two days uh, to the polling station and then uh, they are all tired. And uh, hopefully they'll, uh, you know, after submission, they'll get good food and all this thing. We are here to receive them. And uh, I thank all the voters uh, of uh, West Garo Hills District, uh, eligible voters for GTADAC election that they came out in large number and ensured that they vote for their favorite candidate. Uh, I uh, once again I thank um, all my polling parties, especially media persons. Also, I thank all of you that you cooperated and uh, given the right message to everyone. Uh, you know, thank you very much. Mm. So uh, now you know we, uh, we've got reports that uh, in market areas and uh, normally if we uh, check in comparison when we've spoken to a few of the people around, they've said that normally every year uh, or whenever elections take place, uh, it's not the same where you know markets are closed, but it's because uh, people were scared because of uh, uh, recently in the past two days when pressure groups had uh, posted all those banners and all, but however police removed them, but then they started shouting that shops should be closed and also uh, many of the people were uh, scared to open their shutters or you know they, uh, the shops remain closed. So would you totally agree with that or what do you have to say? No, uh, the band is very not very new in uh, you know uh, northeast. Like I'm here for last 11 years, and I have seen that uh, anybody calls band any organization. Lot of people they just because of every entrance they close down. We have seen like two to three three months band also, and for last three years uh, we have seen very less bands. So today being Sunday also election day also, I feel that yes. Uh, had the you know uh, people not come out in very large number i would have thought that you know ban like you know this is because of the band and all all these things only but yes people might have some apprehension also but uh, we you know we uh, uh, that that part we are taking care of legal issues part we will take care of that thing but uh, we have uh, never said not to open the because we have given an ample security to each and everybody so i think few of the areas the shops were open also uh, but uh, over here, you know, uh, you know, despite our repeated request that we will assure each and every one ample security, etc. I think 2015 also there was GNA, GNLA ban. Few of the market areas, the polling percentage was very low also, maybe 29, 30 also. 
this time we had a huge queues uh, outside the polling stations and uh, till the 4 pm uh, since morning i went everywhere there was no threat nothing like that nobody complained to me also so specifically i am very open to like you know uh, receiving complaints i have got social media also i'm very active uh, you know my whatsapp all numbers are with everyone in fact there are complaints uh, now you know lot of areas they are saying uh, like you know uh, especially in the plain belt area even in market area few other people were saying that people are still in the queue and we want to vote etc and uh, i don't think uh, you know um, uh, basically uh, there is a correlation between uh, like you know not voting and uh, closure of shop uh, may maybe because of the certain apprehensions amongst them but from the administration side uh, since the beginning we have you know conducted meeting we told them that uh, you know poll should be peaceful and uh, market should open so i think uh, the, you know nobody has come forward i, d I discussed with the sp also during during that time whether why the you know uh, markets are shut and all so normally during sunday's time they everybody used to be like that only uh, yeah, so I think uh, uh, we will look into that if anybody like complains and all these things, mm -hmm. and um, uh, anybody has any issues. But uh, I personally, I don't feel that uh, that people are really scared, etc. So let us see. And uh, uh, coming to, uh, was there any EVM malfunction that you faced today? EVM because CU malfunctioning uh, is very common because these are old EVMs. I think. But it was not so much prevalent because we had a uh, first level checking and commissioning time we checked all the EVMs. But they, those are very normal. So if there is any error, we replace it. So we will check uh, regarding whether, you know, uh, now regarding the, this thing. I think uh, at least uh, 5 to 10 EVM, uh, 5, five, six EVMs uh, must have, you know, mal, uh, uh, there was CU replacement, CUBU replacement would have been there. But uh, those are normal routine things. The polling day of the Garu Hills Autonomous District Council has peacefully ended here. We're here in Tura in one of the strong rooms here. And we've spoken to the Deputy Commissioner who is also the uh, officer for uh, the GHADC and he's informed that everything has gone on peacefully. Now, as, as we mentioned earlier, this is the polling day for the Garu Hills Autonomous District Council and election has gone on uh, peacefully. Now, what uh, the uh, DC Ram Singh has informed is that they had anticipated Anticipated law and order situation, hence observers were called. Now he has mentioned that for uh, West Garu Hills, there were uh, four observers that were called. Uh, two were sent to the Plain Belt areas. One was for Dalu, one was for Tura. But then when we had seen, uh, when we had asked why was the need of observers, he said that this was just to take a precautionary measure. As you can see right behind me, officers are returning back to the strong room with the EVMs and uh, also uh, it is to be mentioned that the counting day will be held on April 15th along with the results. This is the election to the Garu Hills Autonomous District Council and uh, we have reported since morning how uh, election process was carried out. People came out in large numbers and as the number was given to us, the voter turnout was somewhere close to 60% even though the numbers will keep changing as the time goes by and uh, during the time of reporting, uh, the number that was reported was 60% voter turnout and uh, we have also reported how uh, the market areas we have seen it were a, des a partially deserted look and um, some had claimed that it was because uh, there was fear among uh, the residents because of the abundance that was called by pressure groups. However, some deferred and said that it was because people had to go and practice their franchise and cast their vote. Hence, they had a uh, witness uh, where shops were closed. Now, once again, the uh, uh, the law and order situation was anticipated. Why? Because the pressure groups had called for a three-day ban op opposing the uh, non-tribals participating in the GHADC. They had opposed that uh, no uh, non tribals should participate now once again we're in the strong room here in Tura in and a polling uh, polling uh, day has already ended it has gone by peacefully uh, all the officers are back here and uh, counting will begin on April 15 along with the results now when we had spoken also to Meghalaya chief minister uh, during the day what he has mentioned is that NPP is very uh, positive to win the majority and even Bernard Marak from BJP also was confident enough that you know BJP will make its mark now remember once again Again, that the uh, polls to the GHADC, the term had ended in October last year, but it was because of the COVID-19 pandemic, hence the election could not be held and there was an administrator's rule for six months and it had ended recently, hence the elections to the GHADC was necessitated. Once again, we're here in Tura 
for the uh, reporting of the GHADC elections. This is Princess Rashir for EastMojo.com in Tura. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.